Ross. Johnny. That's my star quarterback. <clears throat> I'd say I was feeling like a million bucks, except I'd hate to take a cut in pay. <laughs> Don't remind me, all right? That was one nasty hit you took last week. Be careful, son. We don't want you getting killed out there. Catherine? You all right? I'm just feeling like I don't quite belong. No, no, no. But I'm fine. Really, I am. No, you're not. Should I call Dr. Stevens? No, no, no. No, no, I just overdid it, that's all. I'll get a car to take you home, OK? Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. Mr. Champagne? That was quite a speech. You heard that? I didn't mean to get carried away. Well, your words meant a great deal to me. You see, as it happens, I have a son with an inoperable tumor of the brain. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, sir. I, it must have been in my subconscious knowing you were here, but I, I never meant for you to overhear that. No, 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 it's quite all right. It gave me a lot to think about. In fact, it gave me a different view of the whole subject. Mr. Speaker, could I offer you a glass of brandy in my office upstairs? No, that's all right. Don't worry about it. I said, grab that place again. I was 50 when Billy was born. Didn't know if I wanted another kid so late. But now I love him so damn much. If there was something that we could do for Billy, only it was highly illegal. Would you consider it? Of course I would. That's the same kind of hypothetical no, no, situation. No, no, no. Don't answer so fast. You'd be facing a mandatory minimum sentence of 40 years if it ever came out. But would he be cured? He'd be exactly the same as he was before. Perfect health. He'd never even have to know what happened. But if the secret ever did come out, with the law the way it is now, he'd be put to sleep like a rabid dog. He'd be destroyed, just like a racehorse with a broken leg. And if it never came out? Or if the laws were changed one day? Then Billy wouldn't have anything to worry about. beg you, just go out to my house and pick up my wife and daughter, because if I go back there, they will kill them both. You made a completely different police report an hour ago. No, I didn't. According to this, you did. And they checked your thumbprint. But it must have been the clone. Look, I know it sounds crazy. I can hardly believe it myself. Was your car stolen or not? Yes. So you did report it? No, it was me who took it. You stole your own car. Yep, but... Hello, I'm your court-appointed virtual attorney. You don't have to answer that question. Is my client being officially charged with auto theft? I didn't steal it. It's mine. He claims the report was filed by his clone. I see. Loading the virtual psychiatrist. Oh, Mr. Gibson. What seems to be the trouble? Do you want me to go to the whole thing now with him? You seem to be avoiding talking about your parents. Imagine, two turtles are walking through the desert. Oh, shut up! 